stay, stay, stay inspired. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> treat today we are sipping a Sauvignon Blanc from Josh it's very smooth very tasty definitely get a bottle mm -hmm. absolutely make sure you get that and even though we're in a non-smoking facility today um, we do still have a cigar to absolutely. talk about you know we always gonna do that with cigar stems I'm a lady so anyways yes. and you know she smokes too yes, so, yes, look, yes listen so check out aging room Quattro Maduro. Oh my goodness. I just had that cigar a couple days ago over at Marie's. Um, awesome. If you want to look for it in the Macon area, go to Marie's on Forsyth Road and I'm sure we can get it for you. <laughs> all right. So let's get into these topics. Yes. So first of all, welcome. Thank Miss you. Naomi. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, yes. I'm excited. <laughs> Super excited. Super uh -huh. excited, guys. Yes. Yeah, so I am Naomi. I am an owner of uh, BBN Skin Spa, mm -hmm. and I wanted to bring a little bit of Buckhead, mm -hmm. a little bit of uh, France, a little bit of we, a, a little yeah. bit of Nigeria. I wanted to feel luxurious, expensive, mm -hmm. colored, and um, I wanted to bring that here to make it. So. Okay, so so we definitely have to talk about that. I have been so excited to meet you yes. and to hear about, you know, this beautiful, amazing spa. First of all, even though, like, when you walk in, I just love the ambiance. So Thank perfect you. in picking that. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So I'm located inside of Azel Spa Suites, and there's uh, 17 suites here. I happen to have one in the very front. Yes. So you will see an entrance in the front yes. as well as inside, but I love it in here. You mm. really walk in. It sets the tone for what you're about to experience. So okay. I'm really excited about that. So how long have you been doing skincare? Doing how, how long have you been doing this? What that you do? I've been in the industry. First of all, I'm a makeup artist. Makeup first. artist. Pro okay. makeup artist. Been a professional makeup artist for <sighs> over a decade. I think I'm going on about 15 years. 15 wow. years by now. Nice. Yeah. So definitely old school. Like, I love. Yes, from, I got into the game before Facebook and 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 I w I had a MySpace. I was mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yes. Yes. Shout but, out to know, MySpace. But you know, Planet. <laughs> so I got into the industry when artists like myself, there was no filters, mm -hmm. there was no airbrushing. Right. You literally had to have the skill. You had to. Um, you just had to do the Perfect. work and you had to pay your dues. It was not a microwave, instant famous type of thing. When I got into the industry, my first job was at Merle Norman. Mm. Nice. Merle Norman. See, that's old I school. Like, old like, school. That's Norman. like with our parents, they had fashion fair, hey. Merle Norman, you know, stuff like that. But let like me tell that. you why. So I had opportunity to work for fashion fair, right? And being, being a newly black makeup artist, I wanted to challenge myself. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to work with a demographic that I was not comfortable mm. with. So I chose Merle Norman for that reason. Otherwise, I could have easily worked at MAC. Right. I could have easily worked right. at, you know, places that would... Random, exactly. Clinic, things like Mo that. Mo Norman right. was going to give me a different type of edge to my artistry. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to um, be a, uh, just build myself in a different way. So I joined a 
Merle Norman. That's wonderful. <laughs> nice. So, so have you yeah. had a passion for makeup for a long yes. time? Was this like since you were a little girl? Or? You know, the, ir- the irony of it is, I actually thought I was going to be a forensic artist. Really? Because I used to sketch all oh. the time. I had an obsession with drawing eyebrows and eyes, like mm-hmm. sketching faces. Yeah. So I, used to, so I used to watch this crime show, like, what does the perp look like? And you tell them the person draws that. So that's right. what I thought I was going to be. Wow, yeah. wonderful. Then I was about 14, 15 years old. I remember watching television one day, and I was fascinated with the, um, the anchor's makeup. And no one in my family, none of the women really wore makeup. I saw the liner and lipstick. So I'm watching TV and I'm just fascinated with color now. And I think I, about 15 is when I was like, I want to do that. I didn't know what that was. Right. And then um, I think about 16, I knew yeah, I wanted to be a makeup artist. artist. Wow. Yeah. Nice. That's wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> so, um, so tell us, how long have you been here? Um, your hours, services? Come on, tell us about so all this I, stuff so we can see it. I'm excited, y'all. Yeah, right. so, um, so I moved to Macon four years ago, okay. and um, I got my license four years ago, so my esthetician license four years ago. So when I moved to Macon, I um, was more of a mobile makeup, mobile esthetician, okay. which was an amazing thing for me to be because when COVID happened and all the spas was closed, right. you could still I was still. the only mobile esthetician in middle Georgia. Yeah, I'm the only. Wow, okay. that's amazing. Yeah, that's so amazing. that was really cool. And that's because I didn't have a, I was I was renting some space from someone, but it wasn't like a spa. So I have said, you know what, there's no mobile estheticians here. There's no mobile spas here. So I want to bring value to the city. Okay. So I said, okay, when I come down, I'm going to do that. Um, fast forward, um, I actually just had my grand opening here uh, the day after my birthday, March 5th. Yeah. So I just yeah. moved in here. Okay. So, opening. Thank you. So yeah. um, I actually have a pop-up suite in Conyers I travel to. I've been traveling there for the last two years. Okay. But this is my first uh, brick-and-mortar spa here. Okay. Um, and BBM Skin is actually my second business. My first is Visages by Naomi, which is French for faces. I think for French. I see. So BBM Skin is um, the uh, second branch from that first company. And I wanted to really cater to um, the more the more spa side of things, uh, as well as uh, my own more body treatments. I still love makeup; that's my first love. I need it; that's what I have to do. But I love the analytical side of taking care of skin, and it's great because as a makeup artist for years, people wanted me to cover up things and mm-hmm. make it work. And mm-hmm. I wish I could like I can't take away what's underneath there. So right. if I can right. improve your skin, that will make more sense. So um, it's a total, total care package, total beauty package yeah. inside and out, taking care of the skin yes. and giving this. Because if y'all don't see her makeup, baby, this is, her <laughs> face is beat to, to the, the gods. gods. <laughs> but let me tell you something. <laughs> there will be many days that you will see me without makeup mm-hmm. because um, I love skincare. My passion, my biggest passion, honestly, is really helping people decompress. Um, mm. I've done a lot of therapy through being a makeup artist. A lot of women, I've been in people's diary for many years. Absolutely. So giving them a space that not only can they talk to me, but they can have a space to fall apart. Mm -hmm. They can have a space, they can be vulnerable. Judgment, right. They can can fall apart, they can be fed into, they can just relax and have a space that they can do that. Um, That's really big part of my passion. I love that. And especially us as black women, we need that space because we always have to be strong. We always have to be on point. We got to be boss, then we got to come home and be mama, and then we got our side got hustle. Bunch, so that's yeah, really wonderful to just here. come and be. Um, so we're going to get ready to look at yeah. this beautiful suite of yours. Absolutely. Um, how, how does one contact you? How do they set up an appointment? What's your availability when you open? So I am appointment only. Awesome. I do not do walk-ins. Nice. At all. I love it. Um, one of the reasons is I want to respect your time. I want you to know that when you book your time, you that is your time. Oh, that's when you come in, um, the first word you're going to see is relax. Because that's what I want you to do is relax. Mm. You have a designated space for your items. When you come in, the music is set for what you want to hear. We have candles. We have a glass of wine if you would like to, to um, just kind of reset whatever you need. Um, fresh pair of socks. You'll be able to get body wrap. I want you to feel important. For that 60 minutes, I want you to feel luxurious. I want you to feel, for one moment, you matter. And most mm-hmm. of the time, most of my clients are black women. Yes. And that's the one thing we don't feel is that we matter. Yes. I so, that. 
I love that, that is that's my purpose. And if yeah. I, I also am happy to have more male clients because a lot of black men don't know that mm-hmm. this is so necessary. Spa, you know, getting spa treatments does not make you a metrosexual or a homosexual. It's just taking care of you. It makes you a man you. that understands his sense of balance. Yes. I think a lot of people book me to take a, a real nap. Mm. Everybody goes to sleep, but everybody doesn't rest. Right, right. There you go. And I like everybody yes. goes to sleep, but everybody doesn't rest. So when they come here, it's an, it's an excuse it's to a rest. It's a place of peace. Okay. Right? Yes. It's and how, as far as setting up the appointment? So you have to go on to vbnskin.com. Or when okay. you go on vbnskin.com, you will get, um, there's a, um, a search bar at the top. You will be able to access my online store. You can also um, book your services. I have two locations, so be sure to book the location that will be closest to you. So, of course, the making location or my Conyers location, and you'll right. be able to book on both calendars. Are there okay. specific days that you're in Conyers that you're not here? Yeah, so there is days, and my calendar is booked out 90 days in advance. Okay. So you'll always have access to see what will work best for you, but I'm in Conyers twice a month. Okay. Okay. Um, yes, I travel twice, but those clients have been with me for over a decade, so okay. I take nice. care of them. So, yeah. setting up the appointments, vbnskin.com, mm-hmm. and we're going to look at your suite. Yes. I'm so excited. I'll, take us to it. I'll, yes. I'll, I can't wait to see this. Yes, yes, yes. Let's come yeah. on in. Oh, and when you come, it's do not disturb treatments in the progress. Yes. I, mean, I don't want no knots. I don't want no nothing. Okay. That's welcome. Right. It makes you want to be quiet, you know? <laughs> like, I started really whispering. I was like, no, oh, so okay. when you first walk in, um, the very first thing, when I designed the space, I want you to relax. That's mm-hmm. the very first thing I want you to see. Yes, everyone loves this piece. So yes. when you come in, um, there's just a space that's just set for you to just, you know, get ready to just be pampered. You have a whole desert area to store your clothing away. Okay. Um, and a lot of these things will be off, so when I come in, it's much more subdued. Mm-hmm. Candles will be on for right. you. Music is playing. Relaxing. Very relaxing. Like yeah. I love it. So tell me a little bit about um okay, so I see you have the facial creamers and all yes. that stuff. So what is a good skincare regimen? What do you suggest for people who have maybe oily skin, combination skin, dry skin? Um, because I know that's a lot of questions that we're probably going to get. Yeah. Are there certain products that you're like your go to products? So all of my products will always be professional grade, um, and I have two, three certifications for, the, for different types of specific skin types. Okay. Um, but the biggest thing I would tell for all skin types, hydrate. Right. right. Hydrate, so hydrate, good. hydrate, hydrate. All skin does, all skin needs hydration. Right. Right. Um, if you're dry, you need to be hydrated. If you're oily, you need hydration. Mm-hmm. Um, and so the, one of the biggest things that I talk about is that a lot of people are severely dehydrated, constipated. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So now we're dealing with toxins in the body. Mm-hmm. They're not using the bathroom. They're not sleeping well. Right. So the biggest organ that I have to work on is the most stressed out. Mm. Right. right, right. So we do things like you know we hydrate the skin as well. I use things like enzymes. The skincare products that I have um, for super high hypersensitive skin is Hale and Hush. They actually are partnered with the Oncology Board of the United States. I'm certified with them to take care of those of you who have lupus, cancer, mm-hmm. super oh, sensitive cool. skin. Oh, amazing! Um, that's good skin. to know. That is really yes, good to know. because they are they have to be treated differently. Yeah, and I have lupus, and I'm yes. always looking for like different things because. There are sometimes when my skin is like super, yeah. super sensitive, like to touch or mm-hmm. even just to scrub my face some days. Yeah, I'm, I'm, my skin is very, very sore. Yeah, because it's, so, yeah. It's, it's important. And I've lost some really dear clients of mine to cancer. Oh, wow. So it really was my motivation to make sure that I can take care of them, whether they're going through treatment mm-hmm. or whether they even know what's wrong. I right. wanted to really make sure that I can take care of those clients who are sensitive in a very different way. Um, good to know. Yes. And so I, you would go through all of that, like when they set the appointment, that stuff that you would go through in the appointment. When you set your appointment, you're going to have a full um, online questionnaire. Okay. When you come in, I ask those questions. I always go through your chart, but I ask the questions about lifestyle. I ask you about, you know, um, different things that are bothering you. You know, how is your diet? Because everything plays a part in the skin. The skin tells me the story. And I have to go backwards. Yeah. So, you know, it'll be weird questions that I ask, but they always correlate to what your skin is doing. Mm-hmm. You know, and also, too, I do a lot of face mapping. So where you're broken out usually tells me where organ is compromised. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's your intestines, yeah. your okay. digestion, yes. your, um, you know, if it's your thyroid, right. if it's hormonal. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's 
a very analytical type yes. of job. And my, I know you always get a massage with this, with every face. She facial. said, I always get a massage. Like always. Go She's to vbnskin.com and, and book your appointment. Always. Mm-hmm. There's always a massage. I'm certified She's in every. doctor of skin. <laughs> Essentially. Yeah, skin doctor. I'm a certified okay. in reflexology as well as. Um, the feet. Re- yes. yes. Reflexology and also uh, Swedish. So I incorporate massaging because nice. number one, it feels good. And also yes, two, it does. I want to activate that lymphatic. I want you to start getting some toxins out the body. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So this is full deal. Oh, y'all. And then this is my glam station. Check. Y'all better go oh, check it out. We have to see that. We got to see that. <laughs> check it out. it all started with the art first. Yes. So when I first started, it was all about the makeup. So when I come here, it is all about getting glam. We got my um, our mirror here, and this is about you just... So I noticed yesterday you had a gorgeous young lady who yeah. did really good makeup. So do you get people certified? I do. What do you do? Oh, Tell me about your class. I've been I so I've been teaching. I've taught classes. Mm-hmm. I've been teaching when I was in school. I've taught here and there. Um and I've also taught classes here. And I been asked about teaching professionally, and so nice. yeah, I, okay, I actually okay. do certify as artists. And so, they get a BBN certification. Not only do you get a certification, yes. you have a lifelong sister in the industry. See, yeah. and I like you that. will always have that. my contact number. I will always refer jobs to you. You will work with me sometimes. We will make money together. We will network See, together. That's the yeah. So I like I that. that. I don't good. want you to just know how to make makeup. I want you to have a a person in the industry that has a little, no little more than you that can push you along because. I can't be everywhere. There's right. enough money to go around. And everybody. Too much. Yeah. yeah. So if I, I can that. say I know this artist who's bomb at this, my dream is to have a network of amazing artists that I've worked with and trained. Mm-hmm. And really, while I'm working in New York, I can have say, I know somebody in Georgia. Right. She got you. Yeah. I want to see beautiful. that. And yeah. I want to see a quality of artistry and, and the respect in the industry mm-hmm. because right now, everyone is just YouTube certified. Yeah. But no That's one is hard. investing in themselves. Yeah. But my students get education. They get the history of makeup. Okay. They're going to learn color theory. Oh, We're wonderful. going to do two hours of conversation alone. Mm-hmm. We're going to take notes. We're going to go over what your brand is, who you are in the industry, what you bring to the table. I love it. I love Three it. hours so of... Just- Three hours of on hand training. Yeah. So I'm intense. Everything, y'all. So yes. make sure y'all tap in with Miss Naomi, yes. BBN Skin. <laughs> Come set up your appointment. Mm-hmm. I've got to make me one. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. I got y'all you. Y'all ready to get into these topics? Yes. Let's get into this next topic. Uh oh. Uh oh. Y'all know me. I'm always coming up with something. Uh, we're going to talk about boundaries. Mm-hmm. Boundaries. Boundaries. I mean, because, you know, I oh. have found that. I'm very lax with my boundaries. I, I, mm-hmm. I've gotten probably too lax mm-hmm. with my boundaries. And I'm finding myself now, and I don't just remain mean because I'm not in a relationship, but um, relationship-wise. Boundaries I, anywhere, I, I, Yeah, just though. anywhere. Just I've anywhere. had to set yes. some. I have had to go back and say, wait, 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 wait. No, I'm not doing that. Right. I am so sorry. Right. Right. I helped you on this, and I would love to help you again, but you ain't trying to help yourself, so okay, I ain't going to so, do this no So do you guys find it hard to set boundaries? I do sometimes, because I'm such yeah. a giving person. Mm. I, I really have a hard time setting boundaries. You and I actually had that conversation a little yeah, bit we did. on yeah. Friday when we hung out. Yeah. You know, and I think one of my things is I'm so giving, so kind-hearted, so loving, that when people take advantage of me, I don't recognize it until after it happens. Mm. And then I got to set a boundary. But then when I set the boundary, it's a whole problem because I didn't set right. the boundary. Right. And, like, and I think the other two thing, too, is that we probably naively think that we we'll receive reciprocity. So I don't have to worry about, I naively will feel that I don't have to set a boundary because I trust that you would return what I give. Mm-hmm. Right. And that, you know, it would just be a reciprocal situation. And most times it's not. So let me ask you this. Do Because you said something. Um, do you feel like when you set relationship-wise, mm-hmm. you know, when you set... Relationship-wise, my boundaries be all over the place sometimes. <laughs> See, I'm mine do right. too. So, but <laughs> do you feel like... Like, I know in my last situation, I should have set some cutthroat boundaries after I saw what had happened. And I still didn't until it got to that point where I was like, you know what? Um, sir, sir, excuse me, we ain't doing that. So, so you need See, to at that point, that was not even a boundary. Now it was like a consequence. Is that what that is? 
Right. Because I feel like yes. if you said it afterwards, it, now that it's, is a, a consequence. Now it's a consequence. That's a, oh, you because, did. you know what I'm saying? I think boundaries need to be a prerequisite, not an afterthought. Because mm-hmm. at that point yeah, now... you get better on that then. Right. And, and, and honestly, I, I'm so I'm a whole Pisces. I'm very passionate. I kind of really go with the flow. It's probably a good thing. Maybe it's a bad thing. I like yeah, organic okay. connections. Right. Even in my friendships, if when friendships develop, I like it to just be just organic. Just like, like, yes. like I love to love on you, and I love to just whatever, and it's cool. And then if I just sense that you want some other stuff, then I'd be like, yo, let me just pull back. Probably should do it in reverse. Maybe right. Should. But I just feel like, I don't know. If if I'm going to be open, I'm going to be open, so I don't think about it. But, but at the same that. time, though, how we can say that we are lax in our boundaries in Mm -hmm. our relationships and in our friendships sometimes there are certain things I know for me there are certain boundaries that I have across any ship Mm -hmm. that I'm not willing to compromise like Mm -hmm. especially in business and who I am you know and being an actress comedian host I have certain boundaries that go across the line that I'm not willing to shake for nobody and then I'll go and talk to my best friend and I had a boundary that I wasn't going to do anything for anybody that day and she needs me and I'm going to need me to go to the store you want me to go get your car come on I'm going to take you to go do this I let that boundary go you know something that is you're right because being an artist is harder setting boundaries and as a makeup artist for many years I especially when you're just trying to just grind Mm -hmm. and you don't people don't respect you as a business Mm -hmm. you have to learn to respect yourself as a business your boundaries are very great because right. you'll okay, you just need me for two hours, but I'll stay for an extra four. Yeah. Or you told me you'll pay me this much, but you're short. Okay, well, you know, it's all for the good cause. And I think I had to learn that. That's why I started having people book online. Because right. what started to happen was the walk ins kept coming in random times. Then they got used to just popping up. Then they'll just not show up because whatever. There's no. So booking online was one of the moments that I had to learn. You create the atmosphere that you want yeah. people to treat you. And that's a hard thing. And it holds you accountable. It does. Too. Right. It does. That, yeah. it I think does. That but, that, but I just feel like we have certain situations mm-hmm. where we know, hey, I got to have this is what it's going to be. If you can't accept or deal with that, that is you. I'm not at a place where I can change that to make you comfortable. But I feel like as women, we do that more like towards business and stuff like that, but still, when it comes to when, those that are closest to when it us, comes to our heart. we will lay them boundaries down. So what do you do when a person oversteps your boundaries? Well, you know, um, I'm, I'm staying out of jail for the remainder yeah. of my adulthood. I, I'm not, I, I don't wanna go there, so, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy because we say all of this stuff and go off and then it's just like, because they got a string to our heart, that same boundary I just cussed about and fussed about that I shouldn't have did, they come back and I got my boundary and you not going to and then that boundary just dissipates it seems like sometimes. See, I don't know so if you fold, that's what you're saying? You fold? Sometimes I do fold. You sometimes. fold them and hold them? I don't know. Yeah, she don't hold them. I might fold. <laughs> you know, but it's, it's just sometimes and then it's like you got to quit. Okay, now stick on it, stand on it. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes it's like you feel bad. Do y'all ever feel bad for like setting a boundary and sticking no, to it? No, I'm learning not feel bad. Because, um, because because I realize now that if I don't draw the line, they gonna keep crossing the mm-hmm. line. So I really at this point I hate to say it like this, I don't really care about your feelings. I don't care how you feel. It you you overstepped. You did something that I told you. And one thing about me, I'm gonna warn you only once. I ain't gonna keep warning you, I'm not gonna keep saying the same thing. And that's in friendship. I give too many chances. I've had a friend yeah, see, I had a friend where I gave chance after chance after chance after chance, chance after chance after chance. And then it got to be like, you know what, uh-uh, we're not doing this anymore. I'm so sorry. No, I cannot do anything for you. You, your children, your family, nobody. No, no, no. no. I but am just been... now going through this. Oh, my yes. God. Yes. Like, I, I had to just be like, no. I am really just going through this right now, just now. And the thing is, my circle, my relationship, I've had friendships that last over a decade. Right. Mm-hmm. And there's one friendship that, you know, I am realizing, okay, question. I'm kind of really kind of going through this. How do you set a boundary when, okay, say in the beginning of the relationship, maybe you both are in the same space, and then one of you kind of does this, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And they're still here. Mm-hmm. And you're looking back and you say, come on, come on, I want you to come here, but they can't, but they keep pulling, trying to pull you into what they're going through. 
that's when the moment that I'm setting that boundary. So are, they're pulling you back. Yeah, See, and the boundary that I'm setting is not even from a violation. Right. It's more from, from stagnation. So, right. like, when yeah. people, right. I've learned that when I'm elevating, I'm growing, I'm, I'm flourishing, I'm becoming this person, some people are going to still be here. But it's not for you to go pick up them and bring them to where you're at. Because they're on a, they may not be on the same journey. You know, and I'm cool with that, but what's happening is like, I'm finding myself setting boundaries, even the conversations. Mm-hmm. But you have to. There's certain conversations because, I want to have and, and it's not, you know, some people say, oh, that's so sadiddy. No, it's not. Mm-hmm. It's just that if you look at religion, God is putting you here. He's bringing you here. Or life's journey is bringing you here. Right. You know, whatever you're going through is bringing you here. So you can't go back and pick up the pieces of others and try to bring them with you. Well, I think you sometimes gotta... it's just we, we get these bonds and, you know, like she said, we come into contact with these people, with this energy from these other people, and we're both in a certain space. Mm-hmm. And in that space, we can both be what we need to be, but... But As you may not be growing, able to take that person exactly. with you. So, right, so, is, so am I setting, so do I set a boundary? Yes, absolutely. Or do I just allow the relationship to just... I would say you no, set a boundary. No, I'm not going to say die. Yeah, I would say you set a boundary. You have to see where they're at. And right. sometimes, and that is a boundary. Yeah. Hey, right. well, I'm here. I understand. Hey, just two years ago, we was kicking it every Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now, I still love you. I can kick it with you on Saturday, but I can't give you Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Sunny. Right. Oh, now you acting funny. You don't want... If you can't respect that, I'm sorry. Where I'm at right now, I can't go back to doing that because mm-hmm. I'm in a different Because that's place. not where I'm at right now. Mm-hmm. And, so and that, that is a boundary. And that's, 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 common, yeah. that's like a common thing because I've had friends where I was going places and they wanted to come and I had to pray about it. But they weren't meant to come on my journey. Mm-hmm. And I had to, you have to decide for see, when it's time to leave. Certain, certain people, you're going to have to leave behind. Yeah. It's just what it is. You know, but you take to do that, but that's and that those boundary. And it, it, it does yeah. one of those, like, after, and, and that's what I'm, I'm, and it's so weird because I'm so used to this person just having access to me in a certain way, and then Adam realizes, like, you know what, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to have the conversation anymore. I don't right, want to. Right, so now right. it's like, I'm finding myself separating myself, and I'm finding myself not gravitating to call as much anymore. And there's nothing, there's no love lost. I still love you. Mm-hmm. But I find that I'm creating a boundary that wasn't there. Right. Yeah, and see, and it's so weird. One thing about right. it, though. And it's going to be weird for a little bit. And it's still weird. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be weird for a little bit. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to say this because I know we've got to get ready to wrap it up. But I know one thing that I had to learn about boundaries. Mm-hmm. It's not for you. It's not for you to like. It's not for you to even. That boundary is something that I am setting for myself. Mm-hmm. Right. So I'm coming into a space of, Isha, this is drawn this line this is your boundary right. I don't got to care what you think about it I don't got to care how you feel about it right. you can either choose to respect that boundary or, leave me alone. or not right. and if you choose not to respect that boundary it's not my obligation to try to pull you into cahoots with what I'm saying right, right. and that's fine I know that's for me so, with gonna, boundaries. so before we wrap this up so I'll say for me I, I'm, I'm on the same page um, I'm in a journey in life where and that's the other thing I've had to learn to be alone and that's in a lot of things that's not just in relationships that's even in friendships my friend circle it Aisha can tell you is like boom <laughs> it's like maybe four or five of y'all that's about it yeah. and that's as far as it's gonna go and I'm okay with that mm-hmm. you know my mom um had a saying where she would say um you leave your friends at the door and you pick them up on your way out and mm-hmm. for a long time I never mm-hmm. understood what that meant mm-hmm. and what my grandmother taught her and she taught me was that it's okay to go in this journey of life not alone but in whatever direction you're supposed to go on Mm -hmm. whatever path you're supposed to be whatever purpose is for you Mm -hmm. you go on it you might not be able to go on it with someone right some people you're gonna have to leave behind because some people are going to be for you some people are not going to be or some people are going to be against you some people are going to try to pull you back down some people are going to build you up and when you find those fortunate people, shout out to my co-host, Miss um, Trina the Dog, yes, that builds you up, you know, because she's a builder. She, does that. she builds she, you yes. up. She, you yes. know, she, she's going to come and she's going to try to With help you in any way she can. needs. Friends like yeah. that mm-hmm. come a dime a dozen. Mm-hmm. But then when you got to set those boundaries, 
somebody like Trina will tell you, okay, you need to set that boundary. You need to set it real right. quick. You know, right, but even you know, she has boundaries. That but she even respects. she has boundaries, right? So, it, it so I think right now I'm learning that it's okay to set boundaries. It's okay to tell people, you know what? Not today. Not tomorrow. Right. Not any other day. Right. I'm a holla at you. Right. Good riddance. You know, I, I, hey, I just told somebody set recently. You know what? You're a nice man, but I wish you the absolute best. May the Lord watch between thee and me while we ask him one for him or nothing. You know, <laughs> this we ask in Jesus' name. I pray because you can't come over here with me. You know what I'm saying? You can't come passing. on this journey Hold with on. me. Before, it's all right. Breathe. It, <sighs> come on. Thank you. You can't come. <laughs> That's how we're And I thank you, God, that That's you can't come because uh, I ain't going back to you. Miss Naomi, you and boundaries. Give us your closing thought. I would say that um, when it comes to business uh, and your friendships or a business period, make sure that every relationship and I and I really the friends that the friends that I have that I, that I currently have, we respect each other's businesses and we don't assume or feel entitled mm -hmm. to receiving mm -hmm. anything because of our friendship. Mm -hmm. That's a boundary that I am very that's happy right. that is understood. Hey friend, how much does that cost? Oh girl, that's okay. Okay, straight, no problem. It's right. the respect of it's it all. Right. Um, I'm learning that in my friendships, um, you know, I'm learning my friendships that it is perfectly okay to, um, it's okay to respect that everyone is not gonna, even the ones that you want to be there, is not going to be, be there. there right? yeah. It was a lesson I had to learn. It was that's hard, because it was like going through a divorce. It was weird. It's horrible. And that's exactly it's what horrible. it's like. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and, and and even in dating, mm, it's, it's, mm, I have mm. been, I've been, I've been booed up and, and married for about 15 years, so I've only been single for about two. Uh, um, so, with hard. boundaries, um, you have to, uh, Date them all. Yeah, exactly. Um, and you also have to um, know that at the end of the day, you can say no. That's right. You can you can say whatever you want and say it early because if they're not gonna like it, cool. Well, you know, that's fine. Right. That's perfectly fine. It's fine to um, have that boundary. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Say what I want immediately. Mm -hmm. um, and and when you don't want to be bothered no more. You can walk away. I used to feel obligated to give people closure. Yeah. Ooh. I understand. I used to feel obligated to, to give people closure. Yes. And I say, you know something? Mm -mm, it's, mm, it's okay. It's just not anymore. It's so funny yeah. you should say that because okay. before we go, I had so. somebody actually tell me, stop giving people closure because they don't deserve closure. Y'all ain't married. So what you giving them closure for? Right. Just walk away. Well, listen. But that's a whole other topic. Y'all already know that's gonna be a whole nother time. And my it's last thing, my last time. thing as an empath, because I just would just talk to a counselor empath. about that. Yes. As an empath, we have to have boundaries. Although we can feel the hurt, the pain, take the death, yes. the emotion, the, yes. the, the need, the healing around us, it is not our job. Are we, yes. are we all to, empaths yes. here? Because so, I know I am. The, yes. So as an empath, well, boundaries is necessary. For in order for you to love on people properly. Yes. Because so let, let's close this thing out because we we don't. Listen, that might be the so next. So y'all see, <laughs> see we can segue. We can keep going because that's just how we converse. But this has been an amazing day. Absolutely. Miss Naomi of VBN Skin. Book an appointment. VBNSkin.com. No walk-ins. No. no walk -ins. I mean, you already said it's not gonna happen. Nobody anyway. walk up in here. Mm -mm. Cigar and stems. I am a lady. We've had a beautiful time. Thank you for having us today. Thank that you for having me. Amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys. So honored. Thank you, ladies, so much. Y'all were got? amazing. Well, thank Love you. It. Absolutely. absolutely. Catch I had up. such a absolutely. good time. Yes, indeed. Yes. Such a good time. Talk I gotta come again. You will. Absolutely. We gonna invite yeah. you again, yeah. now, girl. I gotta you know. come again. So this your girl, Miss Annalise Jade, and Miss. Aisha Andrea and the enough. beautiful Miss Naomi from BBN Skin, as we've already said. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter. You know the vibes. Let's get it.